We acquire all the assets from a production when it's finished and we sell them to the public. Shirts, hats, shoes, accessories, everything. If they use it in a film or television show, we get it and then we bring it to the, to the floor here. Started out as a hobby. As a kid, I would go to theaters, beg the theater managers for posters, and then that grew into other aspects of collecting, which led to movie props and costumes. We started buying and selling for ourselves, just with collectors, and then when we made better connections with some of the studios, they asked us to take on a bigger role and move more product, meaning lesser characters, but are still good for wear. Some are brand new, some are used, but all at ridiculously low prices. Because we have just moved from Florida, there is still a warehouse with stuff in Florida. We've renting space here in Maysville, plus the building next door we're using for inventory. So when typically we have trucks, you know, storing to build truck loads out in California as well. So there's, it's all over the place right now and we will be consolidating that all here in the coming months. You know, depending on the production, it's all, there's no, there's no age limit, there's no gender, there's no nothing because it's gonna evolve every month to month and we're constantly gonna have inventory that would appeal to somebody at some point. But this business started growing to the point where I needed help. I couldn't photograph everything because all this was online at the time. So she elevated the business to what it is now. I mean, her style, her input, her, her way of working really changed the dynamic of the entire thing. She's definitely the brains of the operation. He's the talker. She runs the show, <laughs> I run my mouth.